Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, this is the last video in the series of, um, you know, starting fresh, having a new PC run smoothly, and uh, we're going to deal this time on this video with uh, how about keeping your PC running as smooth as possible in the future from the time that now you've actually reinstalled. You know, PCs are computers that, that with Windows are computers that can sometimes need to reinstall Windows, and it does happen depending on how you do. But it really depends a lot on what you do actually and the programs you install and how heavy of a use do you have for your PC. Some people will actually have the same Windows running for years without any glitches or problems. But over time, there will be and possibly be a slowdown. There could be a slowdown because of all the software updates. There could be a slowdown because Windows updates will add uh, stuff all over time. And, you know, from time to time, uh, the ads of Windows updates all the time might be uh, to a point where it's kind of maybe a good idea to just restart fresh again and get back some of the speed. Now, the declining speed of a PC is a normal process that happens over years because software tend to be heavier over time. They add new features, and these new features will sometimes require a little more power to your uh, processor and so on. But uh, overall, you can clean uh, a few things. Overall, you can keep a few things um, to make sure that you're running smoothly. The first thing to do, remember that for a smooth running PC, make sure that you update your Windows, uh, Windows updates, especially the security because security is important. That is going to keep you safe. Update the software that you use. If you use Google Chrome, you know, I regularly talk about the Google Chrome updates with security and so on. Keep that up to date to make sure you stay safe. Every software that you might be using, most of them have updates. Update them to stay safe because a lot of the uh, fixes are not just for bugs, but sometimes for security. The other thing that you could uh, check out, of course, is not to install any extra software that you are not going to use. Only, once again, install what you need, nothing more than that. And take the time to clean up. You can you know, uh, go into your right-click, the Start button, go into your Settings, go into the Apps, check out the app list of what you've installed over time. Do you still use it? Do you still need it? Uh, it's not a bad idea to uninstall something that you might not need. So you can click on it, click the un uninstall button. And so keep that to a minimum. Instead of having, you know, an app list that's growing all the time, you can, you know, mitigate a little bit on there with just having the minimum required. Uh, sometimes some apps might change settings that, um, you know, are creating issues. So by removing them, you might actually get back to uh, more uh, standard use of your PC. The other thing you should do is uh, check out from time to time, do a little cleanup of you know the temporary um, files. What you could do is right click once again the start button, go into the settings. Here you can actually go into system and then go on the left side to storage. So one of the things you can actually turn on is storage sense. Storage sense is a automatic process that will delete the standard temporary files that apps aren't using that Windows left behind. It's an automatic process and it's usually doesn't require, doesn't cause any problems. And it will free up some disk space also at the same time. So you can use Storage Sense, you can run it during low free disk space, or you can run it, you know, once a month, which I think would be that kind of my recommendation is to use it like, okay, every month. So once a month is going to do it and so on. So you can turn it on and do it. You can also manually go and check out temporary files. For example, here it tells me I've got 25 gigabytes of them. You can click on that and see what it's going to show up. So it's going to actually scan your hard drive and give you a list of everything that's in there that you can actually remove. Now, the big part of what I have that is um, really the downloads folder, 24.5, that I don't want to touch personally because I know that there's some things I need in there, but there's other stuff that you can do, like there's the Windows Update Cleanup, maybe the Recycle Bin, stuff like that that 
you know, aren't necessary. There's all a minimum that's already um, has a check mark because Windows knows that it's fine to remove that. But um, you can add, of course, check marks to other uh, types of files that you want to be removed. And then once that is done, click Remove Files. It's going to clean up. It tells you how much space it's going to actually uh, give you back. And so that kind of is a, a minimum maintenance for Windows. Uh, for the rest, just be careful what you do. If you're up to date, you know what? Just use common sense. It's what makes your PC safe is really common sense. Uh, people that, you know, so many people that tell me, it's like, well, you can't rely on common sense. Yeah, you, you have to, because if there was no common sense in using a PC and, you know, thinking about what you do, everybody would be infected, regardless of using an antivirus or not. Because the antivirus is a minimum of protection. It, you know, barely scratches the surface of protection. It's really, really what you do and the updates that you apply. If people would click on everything they see all the time, everybody would be infected. As a tech guy, I've seen so many people that are infected and they have these big gun antivirus software installed. They didn't protect you. They, does, they don't protect you if you're not um, careful with what you do online. Don't click, you know, uh, attachments you don't know where they come from at all. Do not download illegal software and and movies and you know these are all the things that actually make people uh, get viruses and get malware on their PCs. So just use common sense. Be careful where you go on the internet, and uh, you know what you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.